You are welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I am Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary is intended to bring insights to God's Word, by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Friday, the 20th day of May 2022, and our topic for today is The Seven Seals, Part 2. Let us pray. Omnipotent Father, the all-knowing and all-wise God, the King of all the earth, the one who is greater than the greatest, Lord, we worship your majesty, we bless your name, we say be exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the gift of life, for your protection, your provision, and also for the gift of your word that you bring to us daily. We ask, Lord, that you would speak again to us. Let your words reach into the innermost parts of our hearts. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Revelation chapter 6 verse 4. Revelation 6 verse 4 reads, And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon, to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. Revelation 6 verse 4 And our scripture reading for today is from the same book of Revelation chapter 6. We'll be reading from verse 3 to verse 4 now. Revelation chapter 6 verse 3 to 4 reads, And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. God bless the reading of his word today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is the seven seals part two. And in today's devotional, we have our Father in the Lord saying, after the Antichrist has arrived and has been crowned, the second seal will be opened. Now remember that from yesterday's study, we saw that the whole world was happy with their new leader who seemed to be a promoter of peace. However, when the second seal is opened, they will see the true color of their leader. He will provoke war. At that time, all his diplomacy will be gone. Matthew chapter 24 verse 15 reads, When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, Stand in the holy place. Whosoever readeth, let him understand. The words of Daniel referred to by Jesus in the above passage are in Daniel chapter 11 verse 31. It reads, And arms shall stand on his path, and they shall pollute the sanctuary of strength, and shall take away the daily sacrifice, and they shall place the abomination that maketh desolate. The arms that will be on his path are represented by the man on the red horse that will be released when the second seal is opened. Now, the Antichrist will have the military at his fingertips. Though he would have allowed the Israelites to rebuild their temple, he will sacrifice pigs on the altar of that temple. Anyone that knows Jewish law will know that Jews can never tolerate that. War will break out. This will be the war of all wars. Some countries will support the Antichrist and some will be against him. I pity those who will be on earth at this time. The war will be terrible, so terrible that Jesus warned thus. Matthew chapter 24 verse 16 to 21 which reads, Then let them which are in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes, and woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Matthew chapter 24 verse 16 to 21 I pray you will not miss the rapture in Jesus' name. And we say a resounding Amen to that. Hallelujah. God bless his word to us today. The topic of our devotional one more time is 
the seven seals part two yesterday we saw the part one of this topic where we learned about the first seal that was opened and when this seal was opened we learned about the antichrist that the whole world would be united and would have one leader we learned that he will not come with force but with diplomacy and with this diplomacy he will be perceived as a man of peace today as we study the part two of the same topic the seven seals our father and the lord makes us understand that the perception of this antichrist as a man of peace will be short-lived as when the second seal is opened he will begin to show his true color not that of peace but of war we learn today that he will do so many abominable things which will lead to what our father and the lord calls the war of wars with some countries on his side and others against him and he will have the military at his fingertips obviously that spells danger for as many as would oppose him our memory verse today describes the events that would happen when that second seal is opened it tells us in revelation chapter 6 verse 4 that and there went out another horse that was red and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another and there was given unto him a great sword in other words in that day there would be no peace only so much trouble that scripture also tells us the one upon the horse was given the power to kill that means there would be death as well that is not a period that anyone should experience hence our father and the lord teaches us this today the only way to avoid this impending danger is to surrender to our lord jesus christ now do not forget that while all this is happening on earth those who believed in our lord jesus and were raptured will be reigning with him why not choose such a great opportunity the door of mercy is still open today you can come in and receive a warm welcome there is room for you too if only you would surrender to our lord jesus christ people often say that it is good to learn by experience but in such a case heeding to this warning is more profitable i would like us to bow our heads now and pray to the lord we would ask him and say father by your grace and mercy help me that on your return i would be rapturable Pray this prayer with all of your heart. Say, Father, by your grace, keep me standing. Help me to be ready on the day of your return. Grant me the grace to remain standing, that I may reign with you also. Let all of this not stand against me on that day. Let it instead be a motivation to hold on to you tightly, never to let go until the day that you come for us. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Father, we thank you for your word again. Lord, we come with our hearts wide open. We say, Father, help us. Help us that with only our ears we would hear this. We will never be partakers of the tribulation. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a key point in our devotional today which says, Let he who is wise stay away from sin. And we receive the grace today to stay away from it and all of his appearance in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Nehemiah chapter 12 down to chapter 13. Hallelujah. We also want to appreciate you and thank you for joining us today again. God bless you. We believe you have been blessed. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send your WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80986-11226 and we'll be happy to connect with you. As you go for today, Receive the grace to live a life conscious of eternity in Jesus' name. Our hymn for today is the hymn 6 of our Open Heavens devotional. We'll be singing, Ho oh, my comrades, see the signal. Have a blissful day ahead. See you tomorrow again and bye for now. My comrades, see the signal waving in the sky. Reinforcements now appearing, victory is nigh. Hold the fort, for I am coming, Jesus signals still. Wave the answer back to heaven, by thy grace we will. See the mighty host advancing, Satan leading on. 
mighty men around us falling, courage almost gone. Hold the fort, for I am coming, Jesus signal still. Wave the answer back to heaven, by thy grace we will. See the glorious banner waving, hear the trumpet blow. In our leader's name we triumph over every foe. Hold the fort, for I am coming, Jesus signal still. Wave the answer back to heaven, by thy grace we will. Yes, and long the battle rages, but our help is near. Onward comes our great commander, cheer my comrades, cheer. Oh, the fort, for I am coming, Jesus signal still. Wave the answer back to heaven, by thy grace we will. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.